Hi everyone! It's been a while again. I came to the conclusion that I'm not a YouTuber and that I don't know how to do that and how to keep a schedule or whatever. But anyways, I'm here again. My hair is now blonde because I love impulsive things and me and my boyfriend decided we already knew that we wanted matching hair. We didn't know what yet and we decided to go blonde. I just got back so she forgot to put in conditioner so it's still a little bit like feels like a rope a little bit. Anyways, I just feel like talking about toys. Let's just start. First thing I want to talk about is that now in the Toy Champ we finally have Miraculous Ladybug toys. So that means that I can now find an excuse to buy a doll because, you know, it's in our store and... Do I need it? Absolutely not. Do I have space for it? Absolutely not. But uh, do I need it? I need a freaking Miraculous Ladybug doll. Anyways, that will happen in the future because I am broke right now. But when my colleague came back from Germany... She brought back a little blind bag with a miraculous figure inside and we now have them as well so I can buy more. Let me show you the one that I got. I already had Tiki but now I have this little cutie. He's so cute. He's so big as well. Stomp? I think Stomp is his name. I'm not that much of an expert with Kwame names. He's adorable and I love him and I can't wait to have more because I need more. I totally forgot to say what this video is about, but um, I just want to show you all the things that I have been obsessed with lately. Or, you know, kind of my fixations from the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Things that I've just been obsessed with, things that I love, things that I just... Squishmallows is one of them. Now I'm not going to show you all my Squishmallows in this video, but I have been obsessed with them, especially the Pokemon ones and uh, the froggies <laughs> because I love everything frog or duck related. Also, sad little story, um, my bird died yesterday. I have two birds, Hendrik and Billy. And Billy is named after Invisibilly because he kind of looks like him and he has the same colors. But unfortunately, Hendrik passed away. He was really sick and we tried to do uh, everything we could. We went to the vet like twice or three times in total. He had two different medications. They said like, if this is still not working, you need to come back and you need to decide what you wanna do because then it's something else than a virus or a bacteria. So we need to do further investigation and it's gonna cost a lot of money. For the birds to survive those procedures is not necessarily a high chance. So it was already kind of on the edge. And yesterday he was behaving very weird. He had trouble breathing. But he was just sitting on random places. Like, he was sitting on the couch that I always sit on. He was sitting in little corners. He was already showing signs of like, yo, my life is gonna end soon. I hate it when animals die. Like, I'm a vegan, part because of my own health, but also because of I hate it when animals suffer. I cannot stand seeing a innocent being going through something terrible. And this is obviously something that we couldn't really control anymore. And he died in my father's hands. My dad was screaming, help, it's not going okay. So I ran downstairs. I saw him blink one more time. I looked at him and then it was just, he was just gone. And, oh. Uh, Yeah. I don't know why I wanted to tell that. We're gonna have a little funeral for him in like half an hour with my sister as well because it's, it's her bird. She got him for her 16th birthday and he was seven years old so he was already pretty old for a budgie in captivity even though we let him fly around. It just sucks. So I need a little distraction as well. That's why I kind of wanted to make this video. Anyways, let's go back to the topic because I don't want to feel emotional anymore. The Kwame things I have been obsessed with but not like going crazy over. And then this thing came in to my store, like where I work. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Where did I put it? I hate it. Why do I forget where I put shit? I'm pretty sure I put it in a spot where I was like, Oh, this is a good spot. This is where I'm not gonna for- <gasps> I know. Because, <laughs> look at this. I put it in here because it fits perfectly. These are teeny 
tiny little paw figures. They're so cute. And I was so lucky because I got the mystery one that I wanted. Um, because I like Disney. I mean, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse aren't necessarily my favorite thing that I'm like, whoa, I'm so obsessed with you. But just the fact that it's a tiny freaking little pop figure is so cute to me. And I really wanted this one because these are like fantasy ones. So this is Sorcerer Mickey. Now, we already knew what, that he was going to be in here. Also, Dale, because Dale is adorable. Look at his little red nose. I love him and princess mini again because I love anything fantasy related princess related fairy tale related everything like that So she's super cute and then the mystery one It's brave little Taylor and these actually open which is awesome Look at that and you can take them out so easily I also love the fact that these boxes are plastic and not freaking cardboard and plastic like mini brands I love mini brands and it's cute and it adds to the vibe and I get that but this is just as a collector This is a little bit more expensive, you know, and I like that because my dolls deserve the best just like me Everyone deserves the best, but obviously this shelf needs to be filled so I need more. If they would come out with like anime figures as pop figures, as tiny little pop figures, I'm all over that. I need Sailor Moon ones. I need Groot. <gasps> Imagine if they came with a tiny little Groot pop figure. Next thing that I'm obsessed with. Now this is the most recent thing because this is something I've been obsessing over yesterday, like the full day yesterday, the day before, taking pictures of her and just, let me show you. Oops, I think I moved the camera a little bit because I kind of tried to hide this uh, empty spot over here. Oh, here's my ring light um, because uh, I wanted to make 60 second reviews of my classroom dolls, but my Instagram was doing weird stuff so I couldn't record my voice. I don't know why. Um, so it's still empty because I'm lazy. Isn't she the cutest little figure ever? Her name is Derry. She is a little dare. She is from Magic Mixies Pixlings and this is a new line that they came out with. Uh, obviously we know Magic Mixies from the huge cauldrons with the animals inside that you have to put potions in and then the plushie comes out that went viral on TikTok a while ago. Then we have the Magic Mixies Mixlings which I've also been obsessed with a while back. Uh, I still only own four. I definitely want more. They just haven't really been my main focus. And then when I saw pictures of these I already knew I needed all of them because they are so cute. This is something again that I look for in dolls. Fantasy stuff, cute faces, colorful hair, the molded on stuff, not so much. She could have had a fabric shirt. And she has articulation in the elbows. And she can tilt her head. And it's so cute. It's, oh, let me just do a close up because she needs a close up. The face is the cutest thing. She has a little gem um, in the middle of her forehead, little antlers. Her ears are facing downwards. Her hair is. Two shades of pink. It's super cute. Her outfit is really cute as well. She just doesn't look cheap to me. Because with Enchantimals, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, they have aspects that I like in dolls, but they also feel cheap. So this is perfect and I like this size. I'm not used to collecting this size, but it's it's super cute. But she has been my latest obsession and I already took a uh, lots of pictures of her and every picture I take of her is just like, oh, stunning, you look so good. Oh my gosh, I like hype my dolls up even though they can't really hear me. I'm like, yes, this is a perfect angle for you. Wow, this looks so good with the background. I love playing around with props and different background colors, different poses, and it's just so much fun. I get my passion for photography back when I see these type of dolls, you know? Now, uh, I filmed a TikTok of me opening her and doing the whole magic stuff. I freaking suck at that stuff, apparently. Maybe it's because I don't like to read. Uh, I read the directions and I was trying to follow them but I messed it up somehow. She didn't appear so I had to take her out and see who I got even though I already knew because Amy got her for me when she was shopping in Intertoys. Literally two days later they came to our store, the Toy Champ, but it's so cute. Uh, I definitely want all of them so now I can easily get the others. She can also sit down like this. Her hair is super soft, literally better quality than Gen 3 Monster High dolls, some of them at least, the polypropylene ones. She's just the cutest little thing and I just 
am obsessed with her. That's why she's in this video. <laughs> I've also been really back into Pokemon. As a kid, I never collected the cards or anything. I only watched the anime sometimes when it was on television, but let me show you a couple of my cards because I want to show off. I am very close to completing my Scarlet and Violet collection. Um, it is all in here. <laughs> I have three Pokemon binders now. Let me just show you some of the cards that I have. It just looks so satisfying. It looks so satisfying. I can't. I can't. It's literally complete except for like maybe some hollows and reverse hollows. And uh, obviously the special full art cards. <laughs> I don't have all of those. But I do have a couple that I would like to show you. Look at that Arcanine. It's so cute. So cute! Ugh. By the way, Smoliv is literally one of my favorite Pokemon now. Smoliv is the cutest thing. I love this drowsy card. It's really pretty, really detailed. I like it when they do the artworks where the Pokemon is very far away. I think it looks really good. And this one is apparently very, very expensive. <laughs> Love that, <laughs> trainer card. I have been obsessed with Pokemon in general, like Pokemon Go, uh, Pokemon Unite, I played it a couple times, but I really like it. Uh, little figures, anything Pokemon related, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So that's it for today. All the things that I've been obsessing over lately. Um, my obsessions switch from time to time, kinda. Obviously some things will never change like Monster High and just dolls in general, but sometimes something new comes out and I'm just like hyper fixating over one thing and then a month later it's something different. Uh, also, I want to show you my Switch. So I got the new Joy-Cons, the pastel pink and the pastel yellow one. Now I actually really want the purple and green one as well because I want one pink and one green. That's my ultimate goal. Then I will be happy and then it's complete. But I got these really cute thumb grips. They're little froggies. It looks so good on the pink one. I obsess over the smallest things. And now we're finished. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, now I'm literally Barbie though. And my boyfriend's literally Ken. That's cute. <laughs>